When I first got the Razer Siren X, I was shocked at how small and lightweight it was. I was even more shocked at how good it actually sounded and how easy it was to use. Razer set out to make the perfect microphone for streamers, and I think they did just that. So let's get into the review, and I'm also going to compare it to everybody's favorite, Blue Yeti, and the less expensive, Blue Snowball. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and you can watch some of my other videos here after you're done watching this video. Unless stated otherwise, all of the audio in this video is being recorded with the Razer Siren X. Just like Razer's larger microphone, the Siren X comes packed in super dense foam that you could use as a carrying case if you're going to be traveling with it. Inside you'll find a microphone, a support rod, a breaker micro USB cable, documentation, and the base. And the Siren X retails for $9.99. For comparison's sake, the Blue Yeti, which is the mic I've been using for a few months now, retails for $150, but is usually on sale for $129. And if you're just getting into streaming, you might be tempted to go with the Blue Snowball, which is a very affordable microphone, which will set you back about $55. If you want to pick either of these microphones up, I'll have links in the description below, and I'll keep them updated so you can get the best deal possible. When you first get the Siren X, you do have to put it together, but the microphone itself is super lightweight, weighing in at just 154 grams. The bass, however, is super dense, weighing in at 227 grams. But if you don't want to use the included bass, the Siren X does have a universal mount on the bottom, so you can use your own. On the bottom, you'll also find a micro USB port and a zero latency 3.5mm headphone monitoring port, so you can hear your audio in real time. And on the front, you'll also find a volume knob and a mute button that flashes green or red. The larger Blue Yeti also has a similar setup to the Siren X. It also has a universal mount, uses a micro USB port, has a headphone jack on the bottom, has a volume knob on the front, and a mute button. But the Blue Yeti has two extra knobs the Siren X doesn't. First, there's the gain knob that increases the sensitivity of the mic, which allows you to fine tune the mic. Right now, I'm actually adjusting the gain knob. This is something you can't do with the Siren X manually. But to be honest, I feel that for streaming purposes, the sensitivity of the Siren X is just perfect right out of the box. And the second knob on the Blue Yeti lets you switch from the four recording patterns. The Siren X is a cordioid microphone, and I'll go into that in a minute. But with the Blue Yeti, you can also choose from bidirectional mode, where the mic will only pick up sound from the front and from what's behind it. There's also omnidirectional, where the mic will pick up everything evenly from each direction. And there's stereo mode, where it'll use the left and right channels. And there's a blue snowball that doesn't use a micro USB port and doesn't have an audio jack. But there is a switch on the back so you can choose from three recording patterns. The first is cardioid, and that's what we have right now. The second setting is still cardioid, but sensitivity is lowered. And the third setting is omnidirectional. But even though I feel setting number one would be best suited for streaming, the audio quality still isn't as good as the Siren X right out of the box. Like I mentioned earlier, the Siren X is a cardioid microphone, so it picks up the majority of the sound that's in front of it, and as you make your way to the back, it'll pick up less and less sound. Which is good, because if you place it right in front of you while you're streaming, it'll pick up mainly your voice, and not too much keyboard clicking sounds, or your PC's fan, for example. Although in theory the same can be said for the Blue Yeti and Blue Snowball, they are gigantic compared to the Razer Siren X, so you'll probably want to place those microphones off to the side of you so they'll pick up a little bit more keyboard noise. Although you might do the same with the Siren X, just having the option of being able to place the Siren X in front of you without taking up so much space on a cramped desk is super valuable to a streamer. When it comes to overall sound quality, the Razer Siren X sounds full, deep, and crisp. It has no problem picking your voice up either if you have it right in front of you or off to the side. It also doesn't have a problem picking you up if you talk very softly. And if you get really excited mid-game and you start talking louder, and even if you start yelling, the microphone still manages to keep a clear signal. Only at higher volumes will the microphone start to crackle or just sound blown out. And again, this is right out of the box. The Blue Yeti also sounds very good, but in order to get the best sound, you need to really play around with the gain knob. I also noticed the Blue Yeti is slightly better at preventing getting blown out when you start yelling. But if you know you're a yeller, you can also just lower the gain knob and prevent blowouts that way. But without a doubt, the Blue Snowball is the worst sounding microphone in this group. For starters, the audio isn't as clear, and you can even hear a little static at times. It also does the worst job of handling loud noises, because it does get blown out more frequently. And like I mentioned earlier, although the Blue Snowball does give you three recording patterns to choose from, I feel neither one of them sound as good as the Siren X's default. One of the most important aspects of either of these microphones is how much table vibration either of their stands pick up. If you're planning on streaming with either of these microphones, chances are you're going to be resting them on the same desk where you're going to be using your keyboard. 
For starters, I can tell you right off the bat that the blue snowball picks up the most table vibration in this group, and that's due to the mic's stiff bass. All it does is transfer all of the energy into the microphone. The Blue Yeti, on the other hand, picks up significantly less table vibration thanks to the padding on the bottom of its base. But since the majority of the base is still very stiff, it still manages to pick up some table vibrations. And then there's the Siren X that picks up the least amount of table vibrations. And that's for a few reasons. First, the padding on the bottom of the base is slightly thicker and softer than the padding on the Blue Yeti. The overall surface area in contact with the table is also significantly less than the Blue Yeti. And the Siren X also has a built-in shock mount that helps dampen vibrations. This means when you're mashing your keyboard, the Siren X isn't going to pick up as much table vibrations as the Yeti or Snowball. All in all, I do think the Razer Siren X is the perfect microphone for streamers. For $100, you're getting a microphone that sounds as good and even at times better than the Blue Yeti, but in a much smaller and in a more manageable package. Right out of the box is exactly what a streamer needs. If I didn't already have a Blue Yeti or needed a microphone that could record in stereo mode, I would go with the Siren X for my voiceovers. I just wish the support rod was slightly longer so it was easier to plug in the micro USB cable and I wish I could dim the recording light on the front. If you're going to start streaming and you're looking for a microphone, you can't go wrong with the Siren X. It sounds and performs way better than the Snowball and the Blue Yeti might be overkill for what you need. And remember, the compact size of the Siren X is a huge plus over either of these microphones. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It helps out more than you realize. For more product reviews and deal alerts, check out jimcaddy.net. If you want to support the channel, pick up a shirt. And I'll catch you next time.